Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, so in the last lecture, uh, we have been discussing about the basic idea about the trajectory transfer and also we looked into the rocket equation uh, that is used for the satellite. Now, in this trajectory transfer, uh, we have uh, seen that uh, it can be based on the same center of force or different center of force. And another is uh, the category for the tr transfer is so tra trajectory transfer. Can also be categorized on the basis of number of impulse or uh, number of impulse already we have mentioned uh, on the basis of coplanar or non coplanar on the basis of the plane of maneuver so on the basis of plane of maneuver so accordingly we will have the coplanar maneuver the non coplanar maneuver and the combined maneuver which involves both coplanar and non coplanar maneuver Okay, so uh, coplanar maneuver, we can have the same center of force. Or different. Or different center of force. This maneuver can change A, E, and a small omega, means the semi major axis. Eccentricity. and argument of perigee. So, these are the three things which can be affected by coplanar maneuver. non coplanar maneuver in this rest of the things can be changed so non coplanar maneuver means maneuver not in the same plane and therefore the capital omega i can be changed and of course here uh, we have not put uh, the theta is also there so uh, equally we can write here the theta so in the non non coplanar maneuver capital omega and i both of them can be changed. So, now we discuss about the transfer between the orbits 
we have got the basic idea so transfer between two coplanar orbits and in the combined maneuver combined maneuver as it implies you are doing both coplanar and non coplanar maneuver and therefore all the six elements can be affected all the six elements can be changed so what we are going to study here uh, first we look into a general parametric view of uh, the transfer equation the trajectory transfer equation so say the satellite is in the inner orbit going into the circular orbit and then what is required that uh, there is an inner orbit so this is the outer orbit outer orbit and here this is your inner orbit and it's required that you put your satellite from this place into into this orbit so the maneuver will how it will start you can start the maneuver say you want to start here at a and terminate at b so then you need to go like this okay So V A is the velocity in the circular orbit, and uh, V T is the velocity in the transfer orbit. So impulse required will be this much. This is your delta V as shown by the pink line. At this point, again the actual velocity in this orbit. should be here in this direction which will be tangential to this point say so this is point b so vb is the velocity here while you get here so we transfer at we can tag it with a vat and here in this orbit the velocity will be here in this direction in the transfer orbit vbt in the transfer orbit at b so how much extra impulse is required this is uh, this is the velocity direction so impulse is required here in this direction delta v b and thereby you can achieve it okay but to do this exercise completely you will see that this orbit should look like this and remember the orbit should be such that here say in the case of the earth okay. once we are planning so also we have to take care of that while we miss to thrust at the point b so it should not go and dip into the earth so trajectory has to be such that it's not going into the atmosphere if it goes into the atmosphere interact with the atmosphere then it may burn out it is severely it will get severely damaged so minimum altitude of 250 to 300 kilometers is required and immediately after launching you have this much of altitude which is raised further okay so we are going to study this particular aspect here so what we can see this is our transfer trajectory transfer trajectory and for the transfer orbit this acts as r apogee and this point acts as r perigee immediately from here it's a visible to us that 
r perigee this will be less than equal to r finals. So, what is r final? r final is this radius this is your r f and what is r i? This is r i the initial orbit radius and this is the final orbit radius and both are circular let us say. So, for convenience just assume it is a circular. So, r perigee will be less than r f and r apogee will be greater than r i. So, this is the con condition imposed here including we assume here r f by r i equal to n and therefore, because r f is less than r i here and this will be less than equal to 1. So, we assume strictly this is less than 1 because uh, it cannot be the same orbit. So, these are the informations given to us uh, if information given to us and then we have to process it further. Okay. So, once we have got it that r p is less than r final and r p g we know this quantity will be l by 1 plus e r equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta at p g theta equal to 0 and therefore, r p g becomes l by 1 plus e as we have done earlier. So, this quantity will be less than equal to r f. We divide both sides by r i this becomes L by R i 1 plus e is less than R f divided by R i this we write as n as we have written and this again we will write as L cap by 1 plus e is less than n where L cap is L by R i. So, this is non dimensionalized earlier uh, these things were very important because when the computer was not there uh, and uh, so much computation has to be done. So, uh, this was the method of doing it plot it do parametric study and uh, get the plot of that and then uh, from there the end for the result for uh, various uh, other cases. Okay. So, this implies e plus 1 cap this will be greater than l cap divided by n or e will be greater than l cap by n minus 1 this we term as equation 1. Similarly, we have seen that r i is less than uh, r initial r apogee is greater than r i. So, r i is less than r apogee and r apogee is nothing but l by 1 minus e okay, dividing both sides by r i. So, this becomes 1 and l by r i 1 minus e l cap 1 minus e and this implies 1 minus e cap this is less than l cap or e cap is greater than equal to 1 minus l cap. So, the another equation we are getting this is not e cap this is just e this 
So, E is greater than equal to 1 minus L cap. Now, we plot both of them, we plot here on E on this side and L cap on the x axis, this is the origin here. So, once L cap is 0 from here we can see this equation if we just equate the with the equality sign. So, once L cap is 0 E equal to minus 1. So, somewhere it cuts here in this point say this is minus 1. And slope of this curve is 1 by n. So, it goes like this n is greater than uh, n is less than 1 here in this case this particular case and therefore, we will draw accordingly we are assuming 1 is present here. So, it will be little like this. n is less than 1 therefore, 1 by n this will be greater than 1. So, slope slope of the curve will be more than 45 degree and then using this part if we use this E is greater than L cap n minus 1. So, this is the equation for E equal to L cap divided by n minus 1. Okay. So, uh, so, E cap will be greater here on this side. So, here is your equation E greater than equal to L cap divided by n minus 1 this is satisfied. Now, take the another equation this one. Once L cap equal to 0 we can see that E will be equal to 1 L cap equal to 0 E equal to 1 this is just on the opposite side in the slope is curve slope of the curve is minus minus 1. Okay. So, it is a minus here uh, just it goes like this. and then E greater than 1 lies here on this side. So, the common area is common area is your the hashed line with green and blue. Okay. So, this is your common area and this is E minimum this is the minimum E possible okay, for this orbit for this transfer orbit because both this equation 1 and 2 this both of them need to be satisfied and it can be satisfied only in this common area where uh, which is I have shown it said it with green and blue. Okay. So, E minimum can be then computed as writing here 1 minus L cap equal to L cap n minus 1 from equation 1 and 2 by equating them. Okay. And therefore, from this place this will be equal to 2 equal to L cap. So, this is 1 plus n divided by n times L cap. L cap is 2 n divided by 1 plus n. So, therefore, this can be written as n we are already we have written here R f by R i and this is uh, 2 times R f by R i divided by 1 plus R f by R i. And what is the value of E? So, then the value of E can be computed from any one of them. 
So, E minimum equal to 1 minus L cap and we can write either using either of the this or this. Okay. So, 1 minus 2 R f by R i plus R f So, this is your E minimum. And what this quantity is? E minimum is nothing but your R i minus R f R i plus R f. So, this implies that you have the inner and the outer orbit and your transfer orbit looks like this. So, this is your final position and this is the uh, this is the initial orbit R i and this is R f. So, you get minimum eccentricity for this condition where this orbit will be touching the external and the internal orbit, the inner orbit and the outer orbit. And especially this kind of trajectory we call as the Hohmann trajectory. Hohmann trajectory and so we call this as the Hohmann transfer. So, this is the minimum eccentricity transfer, not necessarily the minimum energy transfer. Uh, we will discuss later on. So, one uh, when so this Hohmann transfer can be better than other transfer. So, we have one more transfer, we call it as the bioleptic transfer, it will come due course of time once we progress. Okay. Okay, once we have done this, the same exercise can be done for going from inner to the outer orbit. So, similarly we have inner orbit here and some satellite is here and transfer is required to go from this place to this place. So, here in this case, this is the final position and this is the initial position, this is R i and R f. In this case, R f by R i, this quantity we have written as n and this is greater than 1. So, this is a and b, the initial orbit and this is the final orbit. And what we have done for the other part the same exercise can be done here also. Now, you can see that uh, r perigee if we extend it, it will look like this. So, r perigee this is going to be less than equal to r i and similarly r apogee will be greater than r f. So, these two conditions must be satisfied and therefore, this is L by 1 plus C should be less than R i. We follow the same process dividing by R i and this implies L cap is less than equal to 1 plus C or E is greater than equal to L cap minus 1. This is equation 1. Similarly, the this condition we can utilize here R apogee equal to L by 1 minus E is greater than R f divide both side by R i. So, L by R i by 1 minus E this is greater than and 
mean L cap this is greater than equal to n times 1 minus or L cap by n this is 1 minus e n is a positive quantity and therefore, e is greater than 1 minus L cap n. This is equation 2. and plot both of them E on this side and uh, L cap here on this side. So, the equation 1 L cap is 0 E equal to minus 1. So, this is minus 1 here and slope is 1 it goes like this this is E equal to L cap minus 1 another equation we will get for this one e equal to 1 minus l cap divided by n slope is negative and uh, this is less than 1 because n is greater than 1. So, the slope will be less than 1. So, it will go like this and this is this curve is for e equal to 1 minus l cap divided by n where n is greater than 1 and therefore, slope becomes less than 1. So, uh, and both this equation 1 and 2 will be satisfied in this region and this is your minimum C. So, as usual uh, we solve for E minimum equal to L cap minus 1 this equal to 1 minus L cap divided by n. and this implies L cap 2 n n plus 1 minus 1 from equation 1 or E equal to 2 n minus n. So, n minus 1 by n plus 1. So, this is R f minus R i divided by R f plus R i. And eccentricity equation E is basically for any ellipse, it is a given by R f minus uh, R apogee minus R perigee divided by R apogee plus R perigee. We go to the next page. So, uh, you just look here in this equation R apogee equal to L by 1, 1 minus E and R perigee equal to L by 1 plus E. So, R apogee minus R perigee L times 2 E by 1 minus E square and similarly, R apogee plus R perigee so, L times 2 divided by 1 minus E a square and therefore, R apogee minus R perigee divided by equal to 2 L e 2 L e divided by 1 minus C a square times 2 L times 1 minus C a square and this gives you e. So, while we are solving for the minimum case, so there it implies that the minimum eccentricity here R a corresponds to R f and uh, 
r perigee corresponds to r i in this case okay. and vice versa in the previous case we had just the opposite of that. Here r f corresponds to r perigee and r i corresponds to r apogee. Okay, so, for just now we have uh, looked into the basic things required, now uh, we can derive for one general trajectory transfer in this uh, parametric terms. That means, this is at point A and here another point B and you just want to go from this orbit to this orbit. you want to send the satellite from here to here from point A to point B. Okay. So, how much total impulse will be required? So, total impulse will be given by delta V A plus delta V B. This we need to compute okay. and general derivation can be done. So, this case what we have done here the minimum eccentricity refers to where you initiate the transfer just at tangentially to the orbit. Okay and then also you merge into the other orbit tangentially. So, that is the minimum eccentricity transfer also we call as the Hohmann transfer. Here in this case, this is a generalized transfer, you want to just go from one place to another place, you start here, go here, you start here, go here in this point. Okay, it is possible, only thing that you require larger amount of impulse. So, uh, this general treatment will do in the next class. Thank you very much.